Okay, uh, my name is Dick Taylor, and I'm here representing Congressman Kevin McCarthy, and today I am interviewing Miriam Khan, and it is Thursday, August 3rd, 2017, and we're here at Bakersfield College in Bakersfield, California, and also present with us is John Ferrand, and who is operating the camera, and this interview is being conducted for the Veterans History Project as part of the Library of Congress. And so we'll get started. Okay. So Miriam, um, so tell me a little bit about, um, you, you served in the Coast Guard. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the I see the anniversary, the birthday of the Coast Guard is tomorrow. August oh, is 4th. that? Yeah, and it's uh, 1790. I was uh, doing, oh. I was looking that up, so I, we have that on our sign out front. So, Thanks for so telling happy me. second birthday. Yeah. You got two birthdays going on. So, mm -hmm. um, so tell me a little about, about about growing up and where you were born and, and where you grew up. Well, I was born in Indiana, and I think Wabash. And when we came to California, it took us two weeks and a Model T Ford to get there. I was ten years old when we came to California. Wow. Yeah. Wow, and so what, what brought your family to California? Oh, we came in, to Los Angeles when we first came there. Mm -hmm. And was it, was it, were your parents looking for, for work? Or? Oh, 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 well, they, um, my mother, they, yeah, my dad was work, work looking for, we visited my aunt was here, my aunt and my uncle. Okay. And he, so they, and they were employed, so nice. we had a good life. Nice. And then so, and so did you go to school in Southern California? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. Bell High School. Bell High School? Mm -hmm. Nice. And so, um, so at some point in time, uh, um, World War II came along. Yes. And you were uh -huh. just a, a, a young yes, lass. Yes. Uh -huh. And then um, tell me about that a little bit, about World War II starting and you mm -hmm. kind of thinking about what kind of got you interested in being involved? Well, I was uh, very interested in it, and I and I was heard what he, he was uh, first. I was mad at Hitler what he was doing to his people. Anybody that wasn't hit, their religion, he would have them s separated. And uh, 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 then as, as a, uh, the war came along, you know, and uh, says Uncle Sam needs you sign, and I said, that's me. <laughs> So I was the first to enlist in my little town. And were there other uh, young ladies like you that were doing something similar, or were you just kind of walking? Uh, uh, not right there. I didn't meet them until after I got into training. Okay. I was trained in Los Angeles, and then my own back to, to uh, New York, is where wow. I had took my boot training in New York. And so, how old were you then when you went in? Oh, and I went in the military. I guess I don't remember twenty four or something okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, so you're already out of high school, and, and were you working at a job or anything before you went in? Um, or were you at home? Well, let's see. What did I do? I didn't have a job. Yeah, I worked in a dime store, ten okay. cent store. Nice. At a cosmetic counter. Okay. Yeah, and I was manager of it too. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, that's what I did. I forget. And, and so what? you don't have to excuse my brain. It's getting no, no, no. Kind of old. Okay, it's <laughs> You run circles around most of us. So, um, so what caused you to want to choose the Coast Guard? I I think what what upset me more than anything was that how the, he was treating his people in Germany, and my family was my or ancestors were from Germany. I think I don't know much about that, but anyway, I I just. Uh, uh, I could see so what he was doing to people, his people in his in his country. Right. So it just uh, when it came around was uh, Uncle Sam needs you. So I said, and that was you. you know, I'm free. And I, I was I was married at the time, but uh, my husband and I weren't getting along too well. He uh, he, he couldn't give me any children, okay. and. Uh, so we were just kind of separated. <laughs> and it's funny how things work out in life. So then you said you went to boot camp, and where did you end up going to boot camp? Where did I go to boot like camp? Like a boot camp or basic training? Yes. Uh -huh. where, where, where was that? Atlanta, that? Georgia. Went there. Okay. Uh, and and uh, we went, um, first we went to New York. Okay. And then we had boot camp. Yeah, and I remember how hot it was in Atlanta, Georgia afterwards. There. And so you got to, and had you ever been down there before? Had you been there? Never, ever? I'd never been to Atlanta, Georgia okay. before. And so uh, you went through basic training, 
Mm -hmm. And then you, uh, and then they decided, or somebody decided, uh, based on your aptitude, mm -hmm. what you were going to be doing as a job in the Coast Guard. And what yes. Was that, and what was mm -hmm. that? I don't know how they cho chose me, except I, I'm a painter. I draw. I could draw pictures real well, and I think on, on my pa test papers, if I had answer the question, I'd draw, make a little sketch. Of, <laughs> maybe, maybe that was it. I don't know. <laughs> so what was the? And then so the job that you ended up doing. Uh, well, um, I, I was just, uh, I don't know how they, they sent me to, to really link trainer school. At the, I'd taken some kind of an aptitude test and sure. I, I guess passed, passed it. Okay, and so and then you trained people to, yeah. to in Atlanta, Georgia. a mission? Yeah, well, pilots would come to uh, do, a link trainer is a, is a, a replica of a small airplane. Have you seen the picture? You saw the pictures of it. Uh -huh. Right. And the pilot would get into the trainer, and I'd give him his problems to fly fl fly blind. Wow. And uh, it, uh, the plane was wonderful. It would uh, uh, probably uh, built, uh, originally built by the man who who read the pipe organs. Oh, yeah. And, and, and so so that the so it went it went back and forth and up and down and round and round. And so the pilots could. Kind of really fly it like an airplane. And plus, being you being a young lady, they were they would probably really pay attention to you. Oh yeah, they, <laughs> they had to pay attention. I mean, if I had a, well, if I had a I, female I'm teacher, sure, I'd be paying attention. To this. I'm sure before I came there, they told they they was told to pay attention to me. <laughs> Right. I didn't. <laughs> right. I didn't so, have to. And so then you taught them various skills on how to operate and and gave them their problem or whatever the thing that they had to do to, in, during, during the simulator. Mm -hmm. Well, I was lucky enough to go places where they already knew how to run the link trainer, you know, but, but it's just like an airplane up and down. And, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then would you, did you grade them? Or, or? Yeah, I did. One time, uh, one pilot didn't, uh, did just run in and got in the link trainer and didn't, he was just doing it himself without tell, me telling him anything. And he, uh, Put, 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 put the nose down real hard, and it went into a spin, which that little airplane would go around real fast, you know. And he got so scared, he opened it up and jumped out over the top of my head and <laughs> left. Uh, so for clarification, you're calling it uh, what kind of trainer? Link. L I N K. Link. Link. L I N K. Okay. Link trainer. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and then this was in. Th was this down in? Uh, this is down in Atlanta. Yes. Okay. And then they, then I, had another a job afterwards in in uh, San Francisco, oh. South San Francisco. Okay, that was while you were still in the Coast Guard. Yep. Or after, okay. And then so in San Francisco you did uh, some other some some other kind of duties or similar duties. Yes. Well, my uh, girlfriend and I, she was a lead trainer operator too. There were two of us to run, in, and we reported for duty in so Southern California. At the Coast Guard Air Station, and he says, no, no women on here. He had 500 fellows, no women. So we had to come back. Good odds. Yeah. So finally, they had to, they had to hire us right. because we were lame trainer operators. Sure. sure. But anyway. And then, so, um, so what were your accommodations like? I mean, like, like when you, I mean, did you have like a, a, a room you shared with other ladies, or was it a barracks, or? It was, the, it was a, just a room down in, in the actually, uh, in maintenance part of the country, of the, of the studio. Um, you had some kind of bathroom know, or, or Oh, yeah, room or oh, something. yeah. We had a bathroom. and. And then did you wear, a, you had a uniform? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So what, uh, it was a uniform like a, Coast Guard it, it uniform. pants or a dress? Or? Mm hmm Okay. Oh, yeah. Was it a, did you wear a dress or, or I wasn't, a, I was not an officer. I just, uh, so I, they didn't have to salute me or anything. Right, right. <laughs> and so, uh, so then, uh, did you ever get any time off? Did, did, they ever, did you get to go oh, out? Oh, yeah, to on leave. Yeah, yeah, we went to leave, okay. and I was very, very close to my family there too, so that I could always go and visit them. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then, and so they lived up in the Bay Area, or just coming down to Southern California? Uh, just Southern California. Yeah. Okay. I was at the Coast Guard Air Station in South. South yeah. Okay. South. 
Um, and so these were the, the people you were training were part of the Coast Guard. They were air crews that flew aircraft. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so at this point, you're kind of in your early to mid twenties. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Uh, what was the thing? Uh, I mean, were, were, did, were you ever? I mean, because obviously now we look back at history and we know what happened in World War II. But at the time. Mm -hmm. Didn't really know what was going to go on, and you said you you had some serious issues with what Hitler was doing. So, mm -hmm. what were what were your thoughts about how the war was going with in Europe and the Pacific? Uh -huh. Did you remember thinking about those kind of things? Oh, yes, uh -huh. I. Uh, well, one, I had had a job before, I was the link trainer operator, and it was uh, when they were sending flights up to the to the Aleutians, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, a, I'm an artist also, so I was class. I painted two par, uh, blackboards, two big blackboards. This the whole coast, clear up to the Lucian Islands for for their class for their classroom. Wow! Yeah. My memory. Hmm. Uh, did you do that from memory? Oh or no, I had to. Oh, I had a very detailed look. Oh. I had a. Wow. Yeah, I had to just. And not every not every mountain and river and right. river and everything, but sure. the water and stuff. So, do you, do you remember anything about uh, the food? I mean, they kind of, I mean, did you guys have like a, a chow hall or a mess hall that you went? Yes, to there was a mess hall. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just got in line with everybody else. Right. Right. And were there just ladies in that, or were there ladies no, and men? In no, no, it's ladies and men. Okay. All right. And then. Um, so uh, you, you joined and did that, and so uh, what were you, uh, I mean, were there things that you would do? I mean, you go visit your family, sometimes when you got leave, yes. you go visit your family. <laughs> and were there other things you would go do in town besides visit your family? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember when we'd go to town. Well, there was a dance we'd go to, I know. Uh -huh. Were these like USO dance? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. There go. <laughs> my uh, my mother was not in the military. My my mother uh, went to a bunch of USO dances because she oh, was she? World War II. Was she a spar or she? Uh, no, she she didn't serve. My father did. My father, oh, my father. was a was an Army Air Corps pilot. Uh, oh, and, that's, and then he and my mom met that way. So, oh. but that's um, so you went to some USO dances. Mm -hmm. And so uh, was that one of those things where guys were always wanting to. Mm -hmm. Dance with the ladies. I mean, there weren't, yeah. a lot, weren't a lot of ladies, so they're probably looking for you guys. Uh -huh. So then, uh, did you do other things like, um, I mean, did they have recreation uh, kind of things on base that you got to do, or you just went out of town and went to movies or dances? Or I just uh, can't remember on base what, what there would be to do. No, we lived at home, see. We sure. didn't live on, we didn't uh, sleep on base. Right. We lived at home, so we had okay. action at home. So you're, uh, so the base you were at, uh, at one point you ended up in San Francisco, but then where was the, the air station? Was it in Southern California? Yeah, Coast Guard Air Station. Yeah, the Coast Guard Air Station. Okay. In, in, San, in San Francisco. In San Francisco, okay. And then uh, did, the, did you that were all involved with uh, training those that were the pilots, were you yeah. also, uh, did you kind of intermingle with those that uh, the Coast Guards? Uh, other other members of the yeah. Coast Guard that did like ships, or did you see them too? Oh yes, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, there, did you have to go through like a gate to get on base? Do you remember that, or did, mm -hmm. did they have like a guard? Probably had no, to have, like, a pass or I, I guess we just drove right down to the right. dock and right. got on. And right. I I know. I remember one time we they let us go on on a kind of a cruise, and we ended up on. Uh, just uh, spending time at the beach, like every just like on a cruise, and that was good. Oh, nice! But, yeah, yeah. And San Francisco, San yeah. Francisco gets kind of cold sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then, um, so uh, so where, where do you remember what you were doing, or where you were when uh, when Germany surrendered back in? Uh, this would have been in like May of. Let's see where it was. I think uh, was I in New York? I, I just don't remember exactly. Okay. I might have been a boot camp in New okay. York. Okay, and then uh, obviously there was a, at some point in time uh, uh, Japan uh, surrendered as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that ended the war in the Pacific. 
So now we're kind of nearing the, the the end of the war. So did you get then did you get out of the spars? And that's one thing I need to ask about. What is? I'm not sure if I know what spars uh, stands for. Uh, the spar, of course, semper paratus, always ready. It's oh, okay, that's their motto. <laughs> semper paratus is the Coast Guard motto. I got it. And so. Um, so now we're getting towards the end of the war, um, and you're thinking, okay, what am I going to do now? So then what did you do kind of towards the end of the war? Well, I was a civilian, and so I just got a job. Like, I, I used to uh, have a department, uh, a cosmetic counter in a department store. Right. So I went back to that for a while. You went back to that, and that was it, that, and where was that? Yeah, and then also I was still on the side I had to, I did portraits of uh, people tinted them color before color photograph. Sure. You know, I did color. Sure. And then, um, so when you went back to the cosmetic counter at the dime store, wh where was that? Mm -hmm. wh where, where was the dime store? Do you remember? Was uh, that yeah, let's or say, or let me think. That was in, in uh, Los Angeles. That was oh. in uh, Huntington Park. Oh, uh -huh. and that and Los Angeles was yeah. a different place than it yeah. is now. <laughs> and so. Uh, uh, okay, so now the, the war ended. So, did you have much of a? Uh, how was your? How did you readjust when you got out of the Coast Guard and, and then mm -hmm. were down in Los Angeles? How, how, how was it to readjust? Well, it was. I, I was able to check in home. My mom and dad and and my sisters lived nearby, so we kind of had a family reunion. Then I just did like everybody else, found a job and went right. to work. And so uh, let's ask about that a little bit. So you. You had a, your mom and dad yeah. were there, and then you had you had siblings. Yes, I had two sisters and a brother. Okay, so your two sisters and a brother, and were they involved in the war at all? No, okay. they're all families okay. and children, and I didn't have any children. So. Right, right. Um, so, and I'm sure they were happy to see you. To yeah. Be, uh -huh. to be back. <laughs> so then, as you, uh, so what do you think? What, what do you th think, now looking back on your experiences in the Coast Guard mm -hmm. and doing the, the link training and all that, mm -hmm. and moving them from, from a, going to New York and then Atlanta and then a back out to San Francisco, mm -hmm. what do you think, uh, how did those experiences during, during World War II uh, affect your life? I mean, what do you well, think? Well, um, it, it, nothing bad, good, it was good. good, good training for me all the way around. And uh, I just I can't. It was a wonderful experience for me. Yeah, it really was. And did you uh, did you have? I did learn a trade there. I already was already had my um, always worked in a department store, grocery right. in a department store. And they were probably glad to get you back. Yeah. Yeah. They, they might have been. You already knew the drill. Yeah, they might. <laughs> yeah. So and then did. Um, so, did you know? Did you have any friends, whether you, you whether you, uh, you grew up with, or any friends, acquaintances that you know that that didn't come back from the war? No, okay. uh, I didn't have anyone that. I, mm -mm. Right, right, and of course, um, you probably saw things on the news mm -hmm. uh, about the war. Oh yeah, um, and then back back then in World War Two, it was what was the newspaper. Yes. Or, uh, mm -hmm. Radio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, we'd hear. I'd always interested in the news, you know, about the war, what was going on in Europe, and right. Then uh, Pearl Harbor happened right after I joined, mm -hmm. and uh, but that was interesting because I remember know where the beach was where they were landed, and wow. yeah, wow. been there. <laughs> and uh, and of course back then you didn't have television, so no. you guys uh -huh. went down to the movie theater uh -huh. to watch newsreels. <laughs> okay. And then uh, a little bit of radio, and then did they have they had some things. Uh, Los Angeles was one of those that had like little display signs that would show yeah. across from, from the building. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, did you drive? Yes. Okay. So you drove and. I a little look. I didn't have a car right then though, but I got a car later. Oh. Uh, what did I do with my car? I guess I just left it at home because right. I, I traveled. By train, mostly and and cabs. Okay. Taxi cabs. I went all across, the, from Los Angeles to California to uh, what the West Coast and oh, New York, okay. and then all the way back over to 
Port Angeles, Washington. I was there for a while. So all the way from Los Angeles to New York. Yeah. And then back to Port Angeles, Port Angeles, Washington. Washington. By train? And I, yeah. And I taught uh, instrument flying there. At, at Port Angeles? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was another place that you were. Stationed. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then what did that, what, did, what was it, what was involved in, uh, in teaching the instrument flying? Actually, the the pilots were trained pretty good before they came come into the link trainer. I just more or less show them where things were in the in the train, and then I, I gave them a, a pa paper to, to to read over, and then they their 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 plane break recorded on my desk the way they were going, and I could like they were supposed to go to one direction and make two out of two as a turn and come back, and so I could. See what they were doing. Oh sure, traveled on the train from Los Angeles to New York. I bet that was an experience. Just did you travel on the train? I uh, did. I traveled on the train. Know. So when you traveled on the train, oh from Los yeah, Angeles, a lot of times, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so you became kind of old hat at that, yeah. and you kind of figured out how oh, to do yeah. that. One time I was coming clear across the whole United States, and I was so tired, and and that young man next to me, he was in uniform, and he says. Why don't you put your head down on my lap? And I said, good, so I did. <laughs> so he was glad. He didn't pat me or anything. Right. So, I mean, he was helping. Right, sure. That was on the train? Oh, yeah. Yeah, great. And so then did you have to just sleep in your seat? Yeah. Okay. Right. It wasn't like they had birthing on the train. He just. Well, I suppose they said we never had a place to sleep. Oh, wow. You just found a comfortable spot in the seat. Yeah. So up in uh, Port Angeles, Washington, so there was a base up there of some sort mm -hmm. that you worked at. Um, so, is that was it San Francisco or Port Angeles where where you were stationed when the when the war was finally over? You remember? Uh, I think it was Port Angeles. Mm -hmm. Wow. We had um, Edith's Hook, and we would used to uh, had take take a, a boat to go ashore for our leave for our leave. And they were they were, they were making practice air, uh, airplane landings, uh, landing air, airplanes on the landing, and they're using the the strip up there because it, the their airship was so small, mm. and that's what they used. And we lost a couple. Yeah. Wow! And so um, when you got out, and when you went back to work in the the dime department store, store. Mm -hmm. so then did, is that? Kind of how you spent the rest of your career? Is that yes, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. Always down in Los always, Angeles. Always had a job. Right, right. <laughs> so uh, I understand also that you now have you traveled to the women's memorial back traveled in, where? Tra to the women's memorial back in Washington D.C. Oh uh, yes, yeah. I've been. Yes, I did. I've been on it. I, I heard. I, uh -huh. I was at this. I heard a story that you yeah, we just had this. Uh, had you listed as uh, this, uh, yeah listed as deceased? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. And that's it. But. You look plenty alive to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's do. Yeah, it yeah. was fun. It is honor flight. I've been on a few myself. As That's right. When I got there, we went and uh, looking at the papers, and I saw a picture of me in Washington D.C. Wow. And uh, I looked at it, and it had been my my retirement picture, but but they put this deceased on it. <laughs> nice. So <laughs> I had to. So did they, I wonder if they got that corrected. I had to sit around. Well, I got it. I yeah. told them to correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully they got that corrected. Good. And then, uh, so when you were in D.C., you got to see a few other things. Uh, I'm guessing you saw a few other places when you went to D.C. Yes. On that uh -huh. trip, so you flew back there. Yeah. And uh, have you have you ever done that to Washington? Yeah, I, yeah. I've been back there a few times uh, as a guardian. Uh huh. It's enjoyable. Did you like it? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. What, it was, what, I loved what it. was your favorite part? They, they let me uh, uh, put the put the thing on the for the unknown soldier. You know. Oh, put the wreath. 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 Wow, that's a real honor. Mm -hmm. That's quite an honor. Yeah. Wow. So, what was your favorite part of the of the trip back there? I guess it just a thrill being there. I I was really the only only girl in the woman on the train on the plane, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but, but they gave me a real good gal to be with me down there. It's, uh, uh, and I, they get put me in a wheelchair just so they could handle me, I guess. Sure. Right. So, and I, then you, okay, so if you have to look back on your time that you served uh, in the Coast Guard, 
Were there life lessons that you learned as a result of your military service? I don't know about, about a life lesson. I, I just know that I know, I know all about people. People are good, most all good people. And I'm just not, not afraid of anybody. And uh, I, don't know, if, if I, gave, I hope I gave the appearance of not being afraid. And yeah, we had, well, what, being in uniform, uniform was fun. And I was standing, I waiting to go some on, on, on a flight, and I was in uniform. And some young man came running toward, toward me, just reached over and got, kissed me and went on. <laughs> yeah. This is when you're still in uniform? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's neat. <laughs> they, they, I think it's because I had red hair <laughs> that they were trying to think it. <laughs> My father had red hair. My, I'm married to a redhead, so I, oh, I, yeah. I know about your redheads. <laughs> so, um, and then, so, uh, as, as, are there anything, is there anything else that maybe I'd missed that maybe you, you want to talk about or any experiences you had or things? That was that my were, brain, I don't know. <laughs> I can well, or, was there ever any time where you were kind of, maybe you had second thoughts, maybe you wish you had you'd done something, mm -hmm. maybe you were afraid of anything or something like that? No, I don't think that uh, I was afraid of anything. You, you, you know, being a, a woman and, and there and a, a lot, of being there with all men, just to, uh, me and what, sometimes I had a, a woman helping me, but sometimes not. And, uh, when, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, I just was never afraid. I was just treated well. Yeah. And uh, you probably figured out how to carry yourself. Yeah. And to, mm -hmm. uh, so, so somebody wouldn't, wouldn't want to wanna cross you. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, being in a position where you're an instructor, yeah, uh -huh. uh, you, the, there's probably a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, men that learn uh -huh. based on the training you mm -hmm. provide them uh -huh. that uh, it probably saved their lives. Mm -hmm. Probably yeah. in certain situations they ran into that, that yeah. as a result of their training and their mm -hmm. practice with you, that result of their well, I had a lot of help when I went to uh, South San Francisco to train, uh, link train there, the first one. Uh, because they had told that not to touch us two girls, so they were almost not to touch you. Not to, not to touch them. The only thing, if one was on top of an airplane, and that when we went to walk through the hangar, and he used to just put a little clap and everything, and he fell off the wing. <laughs> so they made us go use another door. <laughs> She was a good-looking gal. She's, and of course, she liked me so much that she dyed her hair red. Same yeah. time. <laughs> so we had two redheads. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. And so, um, so then, do you have? Uh, so then, um, have you ever been in contact? Have you ever made connections or contact with anybody that you served with back in World War Two? Oh. Oh, I guess it's just been too long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Rhoda's gone. You know, I live so darn long. I got now, now, was that somebody you served with? Uh huh. Is that, that was somebody you served with? Yes, Rhoda? I served with her. She wasn't there with me all the time. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that, and you guys met when you were in the Coast Guard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was good. Yeah. And you guys probably had a lot of fun times together? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like it was a, a good like life. A Lucy and Ethel. It was a good life. Yeah, like, was it like Lucy and Ethel? Was it like Lucy and Ethel? You know, yeah, sort of. <laughs> right. Maybe. Right. Yeah, she was good. And then, uh, so if if anybody was watching this video years from now, and uh, they had to uh, uh, look at uh, if you had any any message for somebody in the, uh, that's maybe watching this, a young person, what was, what was the the message that you would give them as a result of? Uh, what you did, what you learned in the military. Well, I, I just learned that maybe it's because people in the military, but they mostly they learn respect, and they just I never was never, never afraid. They just treated me well. I just uh, I think the pilot, the uh, people in the Air Force were treated, at least were treated, were taught respect because they, I was respected. Yeah. I had one chase me around the link trainer one time. <laughs> 
change your breath like it's better. <laughs> he was a, he was a, uh, in telling me first he kept telling me how much he was in love with this lady, and she lived in, in this, this was in Burlingame, California, and uh, uh, that's where she lived. And it's the only millionaire colony in the world it was, and she was very wealthy lady, and she was engaged to him, and he was so good. But all the time he was on the phone talking to her, he was patting me on the leg. So when I left, well, he chased me around the link trainer. <laughs> Had all kinds of fun things. Oh, fun. But I, I've never, no, never too scary. <laughs> Well, uh, anything else you want to say that, that before we wrap this up? Well, anything else? I would I would certainly recommend anybody, if with the opportunity to serve the country, that uh, it's it's well worth it. You're with a lot of good, fine people, and uh, I'm not at all sorry that I did that. Gave my life to my country that Absolutely. many times, that long time. Yeah. <laughs> that it was shows good. Your, you have a lot yeah. Of pride in your service and your, and your yeah. <laughs> well I want to tell you Mary and I I'm grateful and, and on behalf of all of us here we want to thank you for your mm -hmm. service to this country oh, well thank you uh -huh. and, uh, thank you for the honor that you bring to our community and mm -hmm. for the, the the fact that you're an inspiration mm -hmm. to people like me I served in, mm -hmm. in the military as well and mm -hmm. and so when I see somebody like you and I listen uh -huh. to the things yeah. you say it's it's very inspirational and you're part of that generation mm -hmm. that that brought us through World War II and, and, and mm -hmm. got the country back on our feet again, and, mm -hmm. and we're very grateful for it. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good. Yeah. Very nice. Huh? Everybody okay? Yeah. My, my, I'm not very fast as I used to be about oh, you're good. selling lessons. Oh, are you kidding me? You're, yeah, you're, I've got, I've you're better than people. Right, 40 years, you're junior. Oh. <laughs>